today i am bringing you guys the real tea on why cnas dislike nurses stay tuned Welcome back to my channel for those of you who are already part of the family welcome back fam for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kiara Selena and this is my channel nursing with key where I mainly make nursing related videos but we also incorporate a bit of hair and beauty so if you are into those things please make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss another video from me again all right guys so I wanted to come here and talk about something that I see a lot in my comments I've made a lot of videos about CNAs and a lot of CNAs leave um, these types of comments under my videos and also for those of you who don't know I worked as a CNA for a year and a half so during my entire two years of LPN school I worked as a CNA during almost that entire time and so I've experienced this firsthand and I know exactly where my CNAs are coming from and so I wanted to come here and kind of I wanted to come here and represent for them you know I wanted to come here and you know let you nurses know that <laughs> y'all be tripping <laughs> there seems to be some type of beef between CNAs and nurses and I've spoken to some of my nurse friends about this and you know a lot of them were not CNAs before and so they don't understand where CNAs are coming from but no like I said some of you nurses be tripping and so I came up with the three main reasons why CNAs dislike some nurses now if you are an amazing nurse and the shoe does not fit then do not don't try to squeeze your foot in it, it means it's not about you but if this is you you need to you need to get your act together because this is ridiculous today i'm representing for my cna so, the first reason why a lot of cnas dislike some nurses is because some of you nurses are lazy like literally lazy you guys don't understand the difference between delegation and just being straight up slack now as you know nursing staff we're here to work as a team yes cnas are nursing assistants and they're there to assist the nurses but that does not mean that you don't have to do anything now if i see that a nurse is busy like well i'm a nurse now but when i was working as a cna and i saw that a nurse was busy and you know if if i needed help and the nurse wasn't able to help me there was nothing for me to get mad about because i see that the nurse is busy right we're all busy nursing is you know we're always busy in nursing whether you're cna all the way to bsn but what's a little bit annoying is when and i've experienced this firsthand i will literally be drowning like i was drowning in work like i had so much work to do i was struggling and you see the nurses sitting down behind the nursing station you know shopping online eating donuts drinking coffee and they will not help the cnas yet they keep delegating and delegating and adding more work onto the work you already have even though they see that you're like dying they see that you're dying they see that you're struggling but they do not want to get up and help you CNA, um, not CNA, sorry, nurses, some of you guys are lazy. And it is really time for you guys to get your behinds up and start helping out if you are not busy. If you are busy, I get it. Like you have medications to pass, you have treatments to do, you have, you know, a lot of paperwork to do. I get it. Trust me, I get it. But if you are not doing anything, stop killing the damn CNAs me to my next tip which is you know a little bit insulting to cnas because a lot of nurses tend to make cnas feel as though um helping with basic care or adls is just you know beneath them i'm a nurse <laughs> i don't do that i don't no i don't do none of those things you need a medication you need you know some type of treatment you need you know some type of assessment to be done cool i'm good with that but i don't do adls i'm so sorry nurses but to all of you lazy nurses out there your job is not to sit behind a desk and look cute with cute with a stethoscope around your neck that's not what you're here for adls is also part of your job it is in your scope of practice you are literally able to do every single thing that the cnas do that this what the cnas do is one of the first things that we learn in nursing school 
basic care, infection control, all of that stuff. It is part of our scope of practice too. And like I said, if you are busy and you are unable to do it because you have work to do, then cool. But if you're just sitting behind the desk and you have nothing to do, you are not too good to help your CNAs out. And what I've learned is the more nurses help me out as a CNA, the more I wanted to help them out, right? If I know that, okay, this nurse has my back, on the days where I see that my nurse is struggling, I put myself out there and I try to help my nurse as well. So what you give is what you get, right? And if you, you know, just sit there and you slack and whatever, and then one day you ask your CNAs for help and all your CNAs start to kind of give you the cold shoulder or loaf around or act like they don't want to help you, don't you get offended. Like I said, what you give is what you get. This last thing I saw a lot in the facility that I used to work at when I was working as a CNA and nurses and CNAs are like different groups. You see all the nurses hanging out with each other, talking to each other, and like I said, if this doesn't, if the if the shoe doesn't fit you, don't squeeze your foot in it. it. Just means that it's not about you, right? But like I said, if you are this nurse, get your stuff together. A lot of CNAs feel very unappreciated because the nurses kind of just sit there as a group and they don't communicate with the CNAs, and that makes the CNAs feel very unappreciated. Like it makes the CNAs feel very unappreciated. You know, as a CNA, you might not have been to school as long as an RN has, but the workload is a lot and their role is really, really important. And they be out here feet burning, back burning, literally breaking their backs, rolling these heavy patients, trying their absolute best, and then you don't even have the courtesy to give them a hello you know, or start a little conversation with them. You don't really have to do much, but it's the little things that count. I wanna add a bonus one because this one, this one I experienced on my very last day in the hospital after I gave my resignation letter. And thank God it was my last day because if it wasn't, I probably would have blown up. But putting CNAs in awkward situations. Now, because of the attitude that nurse, some nurses have towards ADLs and basic care, a lot of families think that, you know, the nurses don't do that. And so, you know, they kind of expect for the CNAs to do it, which like, yes, it is the CNAs job. But like I said, because of the nurses attitude towards um, basic care, families think that nurses aren't supposed to do it right and so you can be a nurse and you might have like let's say for example sundays sundays depending on where you where you work where i worked sundays were extremely busy because sunday was mass and so i had to get all these people dressed for mass and sometimes i had three showers to do and four people to get dressed before 9 30 and my shift started around 7 45 after report right so I barely have any time and I have to do these two showers and you know these change these people these four people or five people and get them up and so sometimes you know everybody's supposed to be up by 9 30 and it's 9 30 and not everybody is up yet and the nurses are kind of just sitting down at their desk and so the families will you know go to the nurses and report that their loved one has not been changed or hasn't you know or isn't dressed yet and the cnas kind of not the cnas the nurses kind of bash the the cnas or shine the cnas in type of kind of like a bad light you know for example they'll be like oh yeah like i don't know why these cnas are working so slow or like what is this cna doing like she doesn't know what she's doing meanwhile my clothes are soaked from the two showers i had to give i am sweating like i've been pouring sweat 30 minutes into my shift because these this workload is so heavy and you are just sitting down at the nursing station and you are seeing that these nurses are struggling and you can't even be like all right you know, I don't really have nothing to do right now. Let me go into this room and at least change one person and get that one person up for the CNA so that she doesn't have to do as much. You won't even do that. But then a CNA or a family member comes and reports a CNA to you and you won't even back the CNAs up. You make the CNAs look like they don't know what they're doing or they're slow. And then now, you know, that trusting relationship between the CNA and the CNA's patient and the CNA's family is kind of broken because of you. It's very disrespectful. Yeah, to all my lazy nurses out there who don't understand why their CNAs don't like them, those are the four reasons. And like I said, if the shoe fits, wear it and fix it fast. 
I don't mean to come on here and be rude, but like I said, I have to represent for my CNAs because I was once in their shoes. I know what it's like and I'm so happy I worked as a CNA before becoming a nurse because I understand the struggle. I understand the sweat that comes with being a CNA. And so I vowed to myself that I will never be a nurse like that. And so I try to help my CNAs out as much as I possibly can when I work and I see the appreciation. And like I said, when I'm having a hard time and I need help, they have no problem helping me because they know that I have their back when it's the time. All you have to do is just have your CNAs back. Just have their back and you will see how much they will respect you and how, how much lighter the air will be, how much better the energy in your environment will feel. It'll just be so much better for everyone else if we just worked as a team back your cnas anyways guys if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for all of my cnas if there's anything i forgot to add make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below i really hope you guys like this video turn on your notification bell so you won't miss another video from me again and i hope to see you in my next one bye